Welcome back to the Draft Sharks YouTube channel, everybody. It's your old friend Herms on Twitter at HermsNFL. And in this video, I am going to give you the names of three 2023 rookie wide receivers who I believe could be some really solid dynasty stashes and sleepers for your fantasy rosters. Now, not all these dudes got super high NFL draft capital. Heck, one of them didn't even get drafted by an NFL team, but each of them have unique skill sets and certain traits about them that make me think, hey, maybe they're worth picking up with a later pick in some of your rookie drafts or just wait and see if they're available out there on the waiver wire after your rookie draft. Either way, you're going to want to pay attention to these guys. But if you want to learn more about the 2023 rookie class, go over to DraftSharks.com, check out our updated dynasty rankings, all of our updated player profiles, and so much more. But enough of the sales pitch. Let's get into the meat of the content that we are talking about today, starting first with Puka Nakua, a draft pick of the Los Angeles Rams. Now, this player had a pretty slow start to his college career playing up there at Washington in the Pac-12, but he eventually really popped off after transferring to BYU in 2021. During his time with the Cougars, Nakua was a big play threat. And among college wide receivers who received at least 50 targets in 2022, Nakua ranked second in PFF receiving grade with an A dot of 12 yards, baby. He's a big play machine. But here's the coolest thing about Puka Nakua. He also registered 39 carries as a runner during his past two seasons at BYU, including five rushing touchdowns in 2022 alone. So he's a really fun and versatile weapon that landed in a Sean McVay offense that runs three wide receiver sets at like the highest rate of any team at the NFL annually. So there's a path for him to find the field. And if he gets that opportunity, he could do a lot of fun, different things. And, you know, we'll see what happens. So definitely consider picking up Puka Nakua in your dynasty leagues. But moving on to the next player, let's talk about Charlie Jones of the Cincinnati Bengals. And, you know, this one goes out to our Draft Sharks product manager, Alex Korf. He really likes him a lot. And in our prospect model over on the website, Jones scored higher than players like Michael Wilson from Stanford and even Kayshawn Butte out of LSU. Now, at 24 years old, he's a bit of an older prospect who had multiple stops along the way in his college career, but after stints at Buffalo and Iowa, Jones had a breakout 2022 campaign at Purdue, ranking second in the nation in receiving yards and 13th in PFF receiving grades among college receivers who received at least 50 targets. And just to you know, add some more fun to it, earlier this month, the Athletics' Paul Daner wrote an article saying that he believes Jones has a chance to take over the Bengals' slot role once Tyler Boyd's contract runs out in 2023. And there's also a really fun quote here from the Bengals' wide receiver coach, Troy Walters. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but basically what he ends up saying is that no matter where you throw the ball, he's going to make the play. Jones is a very technical route runner. If it's a 15-yard route, he'll run 15 yards. If it's a 12-yard route, he'll run 12. And that's just the type of dude that Charlie Jones is. So, like, if you're okay taking a chance on an older player and seeing what happens out of it, you couldn't ask for a better landing spot than one of the league's most high-powered offenses in the Cincinnati Bengals. So definitely think about Charlie Jones. Keep him in the back of your mind. And now for the last one, we're going to go, you know, pretty deep cut. And there's no guarantee Bryce Ford Wheaton is even going to make the Giants roster. But if he does, he really brings a different skill set than a lot of the receivers already on that team have. Now, he never really broke out in college. Ford Wheaton never exceeded 700 receiving yards at any point during his college career. And he didn't even get drafted by an NFL team. The Giants signed him as a UDFA. But he tested marvelously at the NFL Combine. He ran a 4.3840 with a 41-inch vertical, and at 6'4", 221 pounds, he put together a nearly perfect 9.97 relative athletic score. Wow! This dude is one hell of an athlete. And we saw the Giants spend a lot of money this offseason bringing in you know, a lot of slot receivers and whatnot, but they don't have a lot of size. They don't have that guy that can run down the field, hop up and snag those balls out of the air. It's a long shot. We're talking about an undrafted free agent, but Bryce Ford Wheaton is the type of athlete that could potentially do it if 
given the chance. Now, if there's a name that I miss that you really think is an awesome wide receiver from this rookie class that could be an awesome dynasty stash or sleeper, please let me know in the comments. Please let me know. Consider giving us a subscribe and a like. Just please. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That was so much fun. But until next time, it's your boy Herm saying adios and thanks for swimming with us. Let's go!